all right guys power just come back on it's been about an hour uh but uh this is going to be my beam that i'm going to flesh it on it's just a pvc pipe pointed in the end uh i like to keep a towel handy just an old towel it just keeps some of that gristle and stuff wiped down easy to wipe that wipe that pipe down Anyway, while the lights were off, guys, I washed this otter again with some Dawn dish soap. I just, I just, just like you would an animal or something, I just rubbed that Dawn in it. Uh, hung it up here, let it drip dry. Just hung its, its nose up here on a nail and just got it dripping down into the sink, drying. All right, same thing we did while going to turn it inside out. I'm just going to run my hand all the way up inside this otter, guys. I'm going to tuck his nose in in his lip here and grab a hold of that nose with my hand and, and pull that otter. I'm going to slide him right down here over this PVC pipe. All the way up to the nose. Alright guys, we're just going to come in here now. I'm going to start, if you're just preparing these for a uh, fur buyer, you can just come right in here behind the ears and start working. Uh, I like to just go ahead and start up here at the nose. And again, guys, a sharp knife is important uh, even in this in this step. But we're just going to take that knife and we're just going to kind of do a slicing, small slicing motions around the head. And we're just going to work some of that fat and uh, and gristle off of this off of this head. Most of the time, I just use this uh, this bigger knife that I got. But another option, if you guys don't have a big knife. You can use a regular knife uh, and just come in here and and work that fat meat off of that head area. And sometimes it's easier to use a smaller knife up here on this head area because it gives you it gives you more room to just move around. But all we're doing is just kind of a slicing motion. And really, you just have to you have to to work with it just to figure out what angle you hold the knife, what kind of pressure you use. But guys, we're just gonna gonna continue. Once we get past that ear, it's fairly simple. I'll switch back over to my uh, to my big knife and do the rest of the otter with it. But we're just working, trying to get all that all that red meat and that gristly membrane off of that hide. <clears throat> and this is just a. Uh, it's just a combination of angle and pressure that you're putting on here. Just enough to get underneath in between the skin and that and that fat membrane, guys. And we're just going to do it around that head just like that. We'll come up here around that eye, try to get a little bit more from around that eye. I worked on my beam a little bit to help with that squeaking, but the squeaking's still there. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll edit, try to edit around it a little bit. And we're just real small strokes, guys. We're, if you do small, if you do big strokes up here, a lot of times you'll cut holes. You just want to do do small strokes and get that get that started there. All right, so we got we got the biggest part of that off. I'm just going to take and we're going to we're going to twist our whole skin, guys. We're going to come in here and do the back of that head. We'll do the same thing. Just scrape scrape that meat and stuff down. Get get all of it off that we can. And we're just figuring out what angle we need right here to get sliced underneath that meat. There we go. Without cutting down into the into the skin, what pressure and what angle we need. And I finally found it there. 
just changing it up a little bit with each stroke. Here, guys, like I said earlier, if you're sending to the to a fur buyer, a lot of times they'll cut this nose and head off whenever they go to put it into a garment or whatever they're using it for anyway. So it's not just a real big deal for that market to uh, to get them off. We're just going to rotate that thing again, guys. Come up here, try to get underneath that lip and that eye and get it started. Now on these ears, when you get to the ears, I like to cut into the bottom of them, guys, and you kind of you kind of twist your knife up as you're slicing, and it'll take a lot of that ear cartilage and stuff out of there. Just work your way around it, figure out what angle you need. There we go guys, we got almost all of it off there, around that ear. So I normally do this with my big knife, but I just wanted to show you guys that it can be done with a small knife too. If you don't have one of those bigger fleshing knives, you can use a smaller knife here. All right, I'm gonna switch back to my bigger knife guys. And these have got a sharp end. And you want this one to be pretty sharp and it's got a dull end that you can push with. We're we'll just coming here with this dull end now that's down behind the ears and we'll start start pushing all that down. Now sometimes on the back guys, on the younger otter or younger animals period you can come in here with this dull side and you can push a lot of that off but sometimes the neck area down to the arms is a tough part of the body so you got to switch it over switch it over and i'll use my sharp end and i'll just get underneath that that fat membrane and we'll push that down to to those arms. And once we get past those arms, we can switch back over to our dull side of the blade and just push, push all that off. Right there, the arm is starting to push a lot easier, so we're going to leave that right there. We're just going to work our way around the rest of this animal down to the arms. I'm going to turn that skin again. There's that arm hole right there, guys. We'll see if the dull, end, dull side will work. All right, we're going to be able to get under it and push that off, so we're just going to keep doing that with the dull side. Applying quite a bit of pressure, guys. We're just pushing all that, all that down. And when you get to the arms, it's kind of like the ears again. I'll push, and whenever I get there where it's almost tight, I'll kind of flick the edge of that blade up, and then I'll push that, push that fat and stuff over the top of that arm. And we got that whole top side of that arms clean now. 
So we'll go ahead and work the rest of it around. We'll turn that hide. Get this little bit that we got left on here, push down to the arms. Same thing here, we're gonna to push to that arm, get it clean to the back of that arm. Right there about where we got pressure, we're just gonna kind of turn our knife up and scrape it over the top of that arm. All right, there we go again, guys. We got the top part of that arm clean. Now all I'm gonna do is grab that arm and pull it up here to the nose on my scraper. Pull that skin back down tight. We can clean the underside of that arm now. All right, I got an area for <coughs> this meat that's not coming off with our dough in, guys. So I'm gonna switch back over to my sharp end. I'm gonna do those small slices to get that to where it starts coming up. Now it's starting to roll up now. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of this arm up all the way to the edge if you want to. I don't worry with it too much because when we're bored here in a minute, we're gonna cut those arms off a little bit and that'll cut all this gristle and stuff off. So we're just gonna keep working up underneath that skin, guys. There we go, just small strokes so we don't cut anything. Getting that where it's worked up. Starting to roll. Now I'm probably turn this over and use my dull end again and push. We got that started to where it's rolled up. So there it's all pushing off now. This is gonna be my bullet hole where I dispatched it. Kind of let some of the pressure off, guys, and clean around that whole area without pulling the, pulling the skin off. All right, guys, so we got that arm pretty well clean. Just keep pushing all that off the can. Now I'm going to come over here to this other arm, put this other arm in here, come and clean the underside of it off now. Pull that hide back tight on that beam. We'll, do this, we'll start with our sharp end here, and we'll go around the edge of that arm, kind of getting that meat and stuff rolled up a little bit. Real short strokes, kind of light, just peeling that, just peeling that meat and stuff up. I'm going to turn it just a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to work this up just a little bit. All right, now we should be able to turn over to go in and push. We got a little bit hanging on there guys. We'll just come back up here to the top of it, use our sharp side, get underneath it, get it rolling up. There we go. Now we'll flip it back over and we'll push. There we go, we got it all off there. Well now it's just a matter of uh, keep doing what we're doing guys. Get all that fat and meat pushed off that thing all the way to the tail. And we're just gonna continue, continue working it around. The hide, we'll shift it, move it however we need to move it. And we'll continue pushing, pushing all this down to the, to the back of the hide where it comes off.
this is the belly area guys you'll have nipples here you're using quite a bit of force pushing down you want to lighten up here to work yourself around those nipples i just hit one right there you'll feel it as you're pushing down just hit it lighten up go over it and then allow your pressure to go again If you continue to do that full force push, you'll rip that nipple out of there and rip a hole in your skin. Now, a lot of times it's not a big deal because we're gonna cut that bell area out whenever we board it here in a minute to make a window. So don't fret, don't fret uh, if you do get a hole in it. It's gonna happen. You can, you can take care of it in the boarding process. All right, turn it one more time here. We're getting close, getting all of it pushed down to the end now. There's that other nipple. I went over it. I could feel it. I lit up just a little bit as I went over the top of it and then applied that pressure again. There's a spot there that I'm not I'm not pushing through so I'm gonna go ahead and flip over and use my sharp side just to get under it just like that real short strokes cutting it out of there there we go guys we got that little part that was hanging on there out flip it back over to our dull side and we're gonna go ahead and push all the way off that skin Just roll it a little bit more guys and we're just gonna keep keep working that hide all the way down and off. Alright, right there's the edge of the tail guys. We're gonna stomp right there. The tail's a little bit of a different technique. I'll show you here in a minute. We just went off the side of that tail there. We got that clean. As we come up here and finish loosening that cut up right there. Now, guys, all that we pushed off is a solid ring around it all. So I'm going to come here on my sharp side. I'm going to slice that off here. Come over here to this side. I'm going to slice all that meat and stuff off of there. So that's our back all the way down to the tail. I'm going to go ahead and keep turning around, finish these legs out and that belly. Pushing all that over the edge of that high. Now right here guys, I don't worry too much with getting this all the way clean. Because when we come in and board it, we're going to cut the bottom part of that foot off anyway. So I just want to get some of that fat off just so it's not in my way. Same thing guys, don't fight with this too much, just end it right there. Cause we're gonna come in here and cut that, cut that little bit of the leg, straighten it up and make it look good here in a minute. All right guys, so it's got the whole thing done except for the tail there. Now what I wanna do is bring that tail right out here at the end of your beam, push your body up against it. Now we're gonna work on this tail guys. This, both sides, Right through the middle, you're pretty much just like we've been doing the whole water. But on both sides of the tail, I'll show you, you've got almost a circular piece of fat that runs down the edge of that tail. So what I like to do is come in here, you, you, you can try your dull end, sharp end, see what works best for you. 
If you're using a sharp end, you gotta be careful because you will cut through that hide if you're not careful. But guys, you wanna come in here almost at an angle and try to get, see if I can get a piece of it off where I can show you what I'm talking about. You wanna go get both of your sides before you get to center. So come over here to that side, get your knife up under it and work that fat out of that little channel. So basically, it's not a real good example, but almost like a, if these are kind of firmed up a little bit, if you, if you get them cold or don't skin them right off the bat, this fat will firm up. And it almost comes off like a, like a string cheese roll. The round, solid, just a little section here. But anyway, all we're gonna do guys is try to, try to get underneath those two sides. And I'm using my dull end here. And you can see how that's just peeling up. There we go. So that whole just section of fat come off of that side there. So we'll do this side down to that same point. Just trying to get underneath that edge. There we go guys, kind of rolling up there. All right, now we can come back up here to the top and we can push that center down. Just get over, work those edges all the way off. All right, now we're back down here to where we had those ends done. We don't want to keep pushing like this, guys, because we'll rip that thing up. We'll bring it on out here to our point where we can reach it good, and we'll do the same thing. We'll just work, continue working that edge. And at this point, I like to switch over to my sharp side, just kind of small strokes. You can see how it's just picking that fat out. And just work that, work that little, it's almost like a, I don't know how to describe it, almost like a little ditch there on the side of that tail. You gotta get down, get underneath that fat and push it out. Do the same thing on this side. I'm using my sharp side. I'm just kind of slicing that up. You can see how it's just kind of rolling out of that channel. That's what we want. Not applying a whole lot of pressure here. I'm just using that, that sharp knife to, to cut that out of there. We'll come up here now, clean that center up. Guys, you'll see that fat sticking on there. You want to try to get all that fat off that you can. So when it dries, that fat will go rancid pretty quick. And we're just gonna, gonna ease, ease back up through here and, and try to get some more of that fat off. Now you can come back after it dries and uh, you can get underneath it with a, like a fillet knife. You can come in here and cut a little bit more of that fat out if you missed anything. But we're just gonna work that all the way to the end, guys. There we go. A little bit more right in there on both sides. Again, I'm sorry for the squeaking. It's not as bad as it normally is. But that's about it, guys. We've about got all of that out of there. All right. So that hide's completely fleshed. Now we'll get it over here and uh, get it put on a board and drying.